So welcome to the modern mainframe and we're, today we're going to talk a little bit about something that may be a little bit of a surprise to people that aren't experienced with this is how we actually connect the mainframe to a DevOps pipeline and what we can do with it and why do we care? Why is it important to, to learn how to do this and what the benefit of that is? With me I've got Greg Lackey who's a solution engineer, principal solution engineer I should say, with BMC. And so he's going to show us some of the uh, ins and outs of being able to connect to the mainframe and then leverage these tools that not only help us automate this process with CICD, but we're also even going to be able to do some quality gates and show that we can't get things to production without passing quality gates so that we get that security that we need as well. So, Greg, how, uh, show us some things about what we can do here um, are we actually connected to the mainframe, first of all? Absolutely, this is the mainframe environment. You can see the release uh, path to production. You can see multiple development paths, which is typical for, for an organization. Right. You can see I'm connected to some COBOL libraries and, and have members there that developers would be working on. Cool. So traditionally, the mainframe is the waterfall guys that slow things down. Yep. And the rest of the environment is is has been DevOps and Agile for quite a while, and they um, are used to integrating with other products and other partners to get things done and to help the developer developer work faster and more efficient. Uh, so, uh, also traditionally, the mainframe was more of a, a segregated environment where it, they didn't really play well with others. If you needed to do something additional, then come buy another product. Instead of, hey, there's digital AI, maybe they do something a little better than I do, let's open a door, let's make an API or a plug-in to do that a little bit better. So that's kind of where we've gone and what we're doing here. Uh, so what we're gonna do today is, a developer has some code that they've made some changes to, and they've compiled their changes. Uh, we can configure this to, as soon as they do the compile, kick off a webhook and drive a pipeline. But I have a Jenkins pipeline uh, defined and we're going to talk a little bit what we're, about what we're going to do. Uh, so here's my Jenkins dashboard and we can see the steps that we're going to be executing uh, with this pipeline and all the value that it brings to the developer because traditionally we want them to make work faster. So in a, in a traditional sense, these are all the kind of things that a developer or maybe their, their release partners would be doing in the business? Absolutely. So every one of these steps is something that would have been done manually? A manual step, okay. a separate step. Awesome. And maybe doing it a different way in right. traditional mainframe. Okay, very good. So right. uh, show us how fast this can go. All right, so here's the steps. I just want to overview those first is we're going to promote the code up okay. uh, automatically. Right. We're going to download tests, functional tests, from GitHub. Okay. Uh, so we integrate with Git. We can even have Git as the source code source right. and, and feed it to us or vice versa yep. uh, for code reviews, et cetera. We're going to download source from ISPW, which is our source management product and then we're going to run the total test. We're going to make sure it passes the quality test right. before we promote the code. Okay. And then we're going to retrieve code coverage data. What's that? Well, we need to make sure all of our code is tested before it hits prod. We want to make sure there aren't any paragraphs or sections of the code that get skipped over. So code coverage helps us map that out. Do you need to add some conditions to your logic to make sure that that code gets tested? So that's what that step is. Just so that's sure. looking at the coverage of the test that it ran in the previous step. Absolutely. Perfect. To make sure I tested all of my code yep. and none of us go into production without being tested. Okay. Uh, so then we integrate with Sonar that does a great job of doing analytics to code. You know, how uh, complex is it? Quality gate checks is really what we're after. So a user can define their quality gates, what's acceptable, what's not acceptable. Will it pass or not? If we fail, we'll automatically regress the code back to dev 
can even send an email to the developer saying you got right. some work to do. Yeah. <laughs> but and try it again afterwards. So uh, and so then we do our quality gate, and then I'm going to hand it off to Exedia Labs Excel release product, and then we're going to complete the process there. We could do the whole thing in our pipeline, and just kind of showing that we do play well with others, and it's easy to have an API that to work with the partner. I think a lot of our clients tend to use products like Excel release and other release orchestration systems because they've got distributed packages that they need to make sure go up at the same time, that they've got other notifications, there's other steps that they want to integrate with the overall client or Absolutely. the overall organization. They could have been using it for years for their distributed right. environment. Perfect. So okay. how do we plug the mainframe in, exactly. plug and play? So these are basically building blocks that you assemble in a particular pattern that, that works for this instance. This could be moved around, changed for whatever the customer would need yes, in whatever is. place they're working. Awesome. Very flexible okay. and very powerful. Am I seeing that right? 55 seconds to do from taking the code and promoting it all the way to production? Well, let's watch. I just kicked it off with a build. Uh, we should see it pop okay. up. Right there, yeah, very good. So you can watch as each step executes. So yep. we can see the promote code. I'm going to jump over here real quickly to ISPWs, do a refresh, and we can see graphically, we can watch our code move up through the, the line. That's screen. awesome. I mean, that's literally on the mainframe right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. So I've got a distributed system, Jenkins, that told the mainframe to go do something. That is correct. Automatically, no touch. No touch. Beautiful. Even could have a webhook and nobody even has yeah, to push exactly. a button. Yeah, exactly. You you did this because it's too fast happening for a webhook <laughs> exactly. to trigger it. We would never see it, but this is awesome. Okay. So now our sonar cube analysis is complete. Our right. quality gate passed, and we went to Excel release. So I'm going to jump over to Excel. Okay. And I can do my releases. And if I page down, I can see that my release is okay. here in progress. And so here's in Excel release, uh, you know, they have some functionality where we can come, we're ready for staging. So I can come in and I can say, uh, assign it to me. Oops. Okay. And it's assigned to myself. I'm then these are just, you define, you define these to mirror what a customer's business process might look like. It's not, you could make this as streamlined or as complicated as you wanted to do. Absolutely, you okay. can build these steps how you want. We just have where we do the testing step. Right. And then we have to come in here and document it and track it. Perfect. Uh, so that's what the customer's doing. So now, I can accept it, move it to stage. If I pop back over to ISPW, do a screen refresh, you can see that my code um, has popped up to stage. So that's a second distributed system that just talked to the mainframe again that using these same type of APIs. That is correct. Very cool. And now I can go to the next step and assign it to myself, mark it complete. Say, you know, my testing is now complete. So, so this would simulate, say, some, a QA group that needed to go do some user acceptance testing, perhaps, and they needed to sign off before they actually release it through. So you still stay within business processes. That is correct. Got it. And I can even have uh, a, a section where it will stop and pause before production and require an application per, uh, manager to sign okay. off on it. So you've got Which, all the control. You can absolutely. you can put as much you need in for approvals or as little. That is Whatever exactly works right. for your company. Awesome. Exactly. Very good. And so then if I pop back over to ISPW and do a refresh, okay. I can now see that my code has been tested, it's been approved, right. and through a Jenkins pipeline and with little effort and a lot of speed, right. I've been able to move my code to production. So how long would that have taken a traditional mainframe shop to do that, what you just did there in a few seconds with you know, obviously putting in some manual steps that for being able to kind of pause things so we could talk about it, but how long would it take a, a company that does this regularly? What do we typically see? You know, uh, I would say an efficient company 
uh, maybe a day, but as much as a couple of days if you're in the old waterfall environment. Because one group has to talk to another group and it, it's not so seamlessly integrated. It's more of a handoff process and a request process. So this, with the automation and the ability to plug in these APIs and, and get them running smoothly, it eliminates all those manual steps. Okay, well, thank you, Greg. That was, that was great. All that was uh, us talking a little bit about what you can do with the mainframe, be able to connect into a DevOps CI CD pipeline, and I hope you can see a little taste of what it's like to be able to, to take advantage of that. We've got a great automation program uh, on the mainframe itself. DevOps is a great automation community and being able to marry those up together, we're finding a lot of value with everybody that we work with and I hope that will be you as well. So thank you very much. Have a good day.